To keep your tines in the best condition, I've designed a tuning tool. This video is hopefully going to at least get you questioning how you tune your piano. Tines are expensive. I have no issue with this, they are hard to make. Check my video on that if you haven't seen it. Assuming the piano is set up well, the tines are designed to last a long time. The tines are manufactured using a process that allows exceptional surface finish and any imperfections in this surface finish will likely be a stress raiser. This will be detrimental to the life of the tine. In my opinion, one thing that is often overlooked is how we tune tine based pianos. The piano is tuned by simply sliding a spring up and down the tine. As the spring moves towards the end of the tine, the pitch lowers and as the spring moves back, it raises the pitch. The only issue is that the spring can be hard to access and you may need to remove the harp. To overcome this access issue, a tack remover is a common tool used. And this tool kind of works quite well. It has a, a pitch point that allows it to align with the tine and you're free to kind of push or pull the spring along into position. My fear with this tool is that it's designed to remove nails and therefore it needs to be really tough. As the tool slides up and down the tine or any accidental twisting, the tool could potentially scratch or mark and damage the tine. So to minimize the chance of any damage while tuning, let's come up with a plastic tuning tool. I've tried a few designs already and this is the final design I've come up with. This is a 3D printed part. The end of the tool has a hook that slides up and down the tine, pushing or pulling the spring. The end is shipped so that it can hook around the pickups, so that it's out of the way of the pickup and it reaches the tuning springs. There's a thinner section here, so this can tune between the tone bars, it can pull or push the tuning springs. The best part of this tool is still to come, a specialist tool is no good if you don't have it. So this is shaped to clip on to the harp support brackets. So once finished tuning, you can clip it on, shut your lid and leave it and next time you need to tune your piano or work on it, it's there ready for you. So easy. I've made the files available on Fingerverse and the link's in the description. So feel free to download and print your own for your own piano if you feel like it's a good idea. I believe this will help prolong the life of your piano when compared to using tack removers. So use at your own risk, question everything you're told. And uh, that's it for this one. Do subscribe, there's a lot more videos coming. I have a couple of reviews coming along, more on my DIY piano, and yeah, you, I think you're going to enjoy it if you enjoyed this video, so do subscribe, until then, thank you.